What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing one of the most requested videos by far, and that is what kind of gear do I use as a runner? So today we're gonna to be going through the top 10 running gear essentials that I have that I use almost every single day as a runner. Quick disclaimer guys, um, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies for any of these products. And just because I use these and consider these essentials for my running does not mean you have to use them. These are just my opinions and what I consider my essentials as a long distance runner. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. And number one is going to be my watch. I use the Garmin Forerunner 235. Kind of think of this thing as like the Honda Accord or the Toyota Camry of watches. It's not fancy, it doesn't have any bells and whistles uh, per se, but it really gets the job done and it does a great job at the essential things which I consider to be, you know, GPS tracking, um, pacing, all that stuff. A heart rate monitor is not accurate, so if you guys see Strava runs of mine and a workout I did, I had 110 average heart rate and then an easy run I did had 190 heart rate. You cannot trust these things for heart rate, it's not great, but for just the normal things, the GPS and the pacing, I do think it does a great, great job. I've had this since 2018 and it's still holding up. It's starting to lose a little bit of its swagger, I would say. Sometimes it does take a little bit for the GPS to uh, find signal if I'm in a place that it's not used to. Sometimes when I connect it to Strava, the mileage is a little bit off, so maybe if Garmin wanted to send me a new watch, you know, maybe if they're watching this right now and want to send me a new one for free, maybe I'd be more inclined to stick with you guys and keep buying Garmin's for the rest of my running career. But I have looked at other brands like Koros, and I'm sure they are equally as great, but this is just really what I chose. I bought it new in 2018 for, I want to say $250, so you could probably find it even cheaper now, 200, maybe even less if you shopped around. But I do think this is a great, um, all around kind of just basic watch to get the job done when you just need the essentials for running. Good for running and biking. I did download an app on it called Pool Swim, which was, I mean, didn't really do a great job for swimming, I would say. So if you're a triathlete and you really, really care about tracking swimming, maybe not the best thing, but for running and biking, it does a great, great job. This is definitely number one on the top of my running essentials. Number two, and this is where my frugality is really gonna show in my running gear, would be my roller. I use this bad boy. I think it was probably like between six to ten dollars on Amazon. A lot of people like the fancy foam rollers and those do a great job, probably a little bit better than this one. Some people even have those vibrating ones which are really nice. I've used those before but I think this pretty much does almost the same exact job as any other roller can do. You have to use your hands a little bit more and it's a little bit more work but I think it does a fine job. If you really do want those nice ones and can afford it, you know, go for it and buy those super high quality things. They are really nice but for the most part, this does just fine for me and like I said, I think I spent probably max $10 on Amazon for this bad boy. This is definitely worthy of essential number two on my list. Number three, absolute, absolute essential if you ask me and you're a long distance runner is Squirrel's Nut Butter. This stuff is the best anti-chafe cream on the market for runners if you ask me. Last year when I did my um, marathon in jeans video, a full 26.2 miles in blue jeans, I used this stuff and it definitely saved my life in a big way. So you're gonna record me. <laughs> And I pretty much used it for every run over 10 miles since I got this probably a couple years ago when I started taking ultra running seriously. It lasts for a long time too. I've had this little container of it for months and I use it on pretty much every single run. And it just does a great job of anti-chafing any area, your chest, armpits, other parts of your body. It does a great job of anti-chafing as well. I can attest to that, I promise. So squirrels nut butter, definitely a huge, huge essential for me and number three on my list. All right, now for number four, let's talk shorts. I would say the best shorts, in my opinion, on the market are the Nike, I believe they're called the Nike Stride Flex, something like that. They're a really nice short with the built-in compression underneath. They do a great job. I had a pair a while back and I ran in it so often, thousands of miles. Um, at least probably ran in those shorts, you know, two, three times a week at the bare minimum. It's definitely expensive for a pair of shorts. I think they're $50, $60, but I do believe it is worth the upfront investment because they do last for such a long time and they are so, so nice. A really, really great pair of shorts. I would recommend that. But if you want to go with something a little bit cheaper, um, these do the job just fine. I use these a lot as well. The brand is called Easy Run. I bought these on Amazon for I think $20 and they do just fine, you know, just has the regular white netting inside, which isn't as nice as the compression, but these get the job done and they were a lot cheaper. So if you want to go with the high quality and you can afford it, I would recommend those Nike strides. I believe they're called um, really, really great high quality, but these do just as fine as well. And they're only $20. Those two shorts for me are the essentials for number four on my list. 
Number five is gonna be socks. Now, when it comes to socks, guys, I really think you just gotta do your own research, kind of do some trial and error, try a couple of different pairs of socks, and when you find a sock that you like, you can go ahead and just buy them in bulk and then you have them for a long time. I like these Puma socks. I don't know if they have an exact model name or anything. They're just kind of like, thicker running socks from Puma. I have probably at least a dozen of these pairs so I just can wear a different one every single day and then at the end of the week throw them in the laundry basket and then I have all the fresh new pairs for the next week of running. But like I said, you just kind of got to do your own research as far as socks. These are the ones I like and I guess I could recommend to you as are the Puma ones. But you know, there's a bunch of great ones I'm sure on Amazon that have, you know, the knockoff brands or maybe you want to go Nike and go a little bit nicer. But just definitely do some research and invest in a nice pair of socks that you like and then just buy them in bulk so you don't have to worry about them. I know how annoying it can be when you buy like one or two pairs and then you end up losing a couple this and that and then all of a sudden you don't have a pair of running socks to use so just find a sock that you like and then buy them in bulk for me it's these puma running socks and these are good enough to be on my top 10 essentials running list now sticking with socks we have these compression socks the brand on this is sb socks s-o-x that's how it's spelled I also got these on Amazon. Um, these were, I think, probably, I don't know, $15 or so for one pair. Maybe a little bit pricey for just one pair, but these have done a great job for me as compression socks. I've washed them dozens and dozens of times and they have not lost any compression whatsoever. And they are absolutely great. They feel great on my feet after a long day of running. Again, SB, SOX. I think investing in a good pair of compression socks is definitely worth it. It doesn't have to be this brand. It can be any brand, but this is the brand I chose from Amazon. Pick yourself up a pair if you're looking for a good pair of compression socks highly recommend these now next up an absolute essential and this is another one of these items where I think it definitely is worth the upfront investment for the premium quality that would be the Patagonia windbreaker that I have I'm not sure exactly what kind this is called, but you can find it on the Patagonia website, I'm sure. I've definitely had a few different jackets and windbreakers that I've worn for running. I don't know how Patagonia did it with both being the lightest and the warmest, but this by far is the best one I've tried. I wore this on my Ultra, it was snowing that morning, and even a couple miles in, it kept me so warm, I was actually sweating, even though it was probably in the low 20s when I first started my Ultra back in 2019. Highly, highly recommend it. Worth the investment, the Patagonia windbreaker, if you live in colder climate, definitely worth it. Now let's talk hats for my next essential. I know you guys, if you've seen my other videos, have seen me wear this hat a ton. It's really just your basic hat. Whether my hair is long or short, I love wearing a good hat. I just at this point feel naked when I don't wear a hat on my run. So I just like these regular quality hats like this. I've, you know, had some of these ones in the past with the netting kind of, and it is lighter, but I just don't like the way they feel. They don't feel super snug on my head. I just don't like it. I would rather have an overall hat like this that has the same material throughout, nice, and then an adjustable, um, little sizer on the back so you can adjust the size if you're a runner like me and you sweat a ton on your runs Then you know how essential it is to have a nice hat that will keep the sweat out of your eyes Nothing is worse than having sweat in your eyes on a run just stings and it's horrible and just terrible feeling so gotta have a good hat like this just find a good one i would say with the overall same material with the adjustable strap on the back maybe you do like these and you can go with this one i mean that's fine it's up to you but i like this kind of hat overall much much better that has the same material throughout the next essential again something else i bought from amazon is this calf stretcher i believe it was probably $13, maybe even less, something like that, but pretty self-explanatory. You put your heel here, you put it on the ground, and then you drive your heel and uh, flex your foot up, and it gets a really nice, deep stretch in your calf. So if you have trouble uh, with tight calves and have trouble, you know, getting a nice, deep calf stretch, just regular by yourself on the ground, using your own body weight, this is a great, great device. Again, really cheap, found it on Amazon, does a great job of loosening up those calves, and uh, good enough to make it on my essentials for running. And last but definitely not least, number 10 is going to be candy. For me specifically, it's now and later. My girlfriend actually got me this nice jar. This is my backup one that I have at my house, but I have a bag in my car that I keep with me. That way when I drive to my runs, right before I go on my run, I can just get one or two, pop them in my shorts pocket and have it on the run. Definitely like for those long runs, 12, 13, 15, 20 plus miles. When you have a little bit of sugar and some candy to pop in, really, really get your glycogen back up and help you push through those last few miles. So would highly, highly recommend it. I like now and laters because they last a long time and they can just sit in like the side or corner of my mouth or whatever and just sit there and kind of give me a little bit of pick me up whenever I need it. But you know, you can do Laffy Taffy, Starburst, Lollipop. I know it sounds kind of silly, but let me tell you, candy when you're on a long run can definitely save you in a big, big way when you're really struggling through those long runs. So 
Now and later is for the win. So guys, that is my top 10 essentials. Let me know what you guys think of them down in the comments below, or if I missed any good ones that you guys think should be on this list, let me know down in the comments below. But that is gonna be my top 10 essentials that I use almost every single day as a distance runner. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, be good humans, do good things, search happiness. Peace.